at the heart of the Asutifi North District Wash Full Coverage Anam Initiative is providing safe and sustainable water, sanitation and hygiene services to the entire population of the district by 2030. The first water, sanitation and hygiene master plan of its kind represents collective voices and action for SDG 6 in Ghana. We are implementing this initiative in collaboration with district government, the Asutifi North District Assembly and other partners including World Vision International, Safe Water Network, Net-Centric Campaigns, Centers for Disease Control and Acquire Institute with funding from the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation. We asked WASH NGOs working in a Satifi North District to explain their roles in getting the district to universal access by 2030, to talk about challenges they face and their expectations from the collaboration. We know region full coverage is a long-term effort, so there was a need to have a coordinated plan and program that can galvanize the efforts of all partners towards reaching that full coverage goal, which also meets the SDG 6. One of the key pillars driving IRC work is to be able to ensure that uh, the partners it works with uh, a shared vision and have a common agenda that will drive the, the, the process. So we went about this process through a multi-stakeholder and consultative approach which involved every stakeholder so that we are able to define the vision uh, together, including the Hilton grantee partners, the district assembly, assembly members, uh, traditional authority, private sector, market women, uh, the youth, civil society organizations, NGOs, we're all involved in defining uh, the vision for this initiative. I believe that this collaboration is one of uh, one of its kind in the sector. In the entire sector, many people are looking up to the outcomes of this partnership to be able to uh, also implement in other areas. World Vision traditionally we are not working in the Certificate North District, but we've taken this as a challenge and as an opportunity for us to also learn lessons to be able to implement in similar areas where we are not and where we want to reach out to. And so we believe that we are going to put in our best to ensure that we achieve some good success, which will be important for the sector to also adopt. There is no one single organization having all the answers. So it is essential for us to join hands, join our heads, and address complex issues at district level, at national level, and at global level, affecting communities. IRC has strengths in the area of, let's say, improving wash governance, or maybe M&E, uh, knowledge management, and then all, all those things and that World Vision has strengths, let's say, in the area of making things happen at ground level, drilling boreholes, uh, you know, installing the pumps, bringing the innovation and the technology. really interested in addressing some of the key barriers that often prevent uh, places like Asutifi North from having successful water quality monitoring done in their districts, whether they be financial or motivational. Finances are a problem everywhere in the district, you know, they don't have enough money for schools, they don't have enough money for roads, they don't have enough money for water or sanitation or basically anything. And um, under these tight uh, these, these tight resource constraints, uh, water quality is often something that gets left out. What we've found out through our previous research is that compared to all of these other expenses and considering the, um, the, revenue, um, the revenue collection availability in a lot of these places, water quality monitoring shouldn't be too constrained by a budget. Typically the people responsible for water quality monitoring are actually not 
not having a strong background in understanding water quality and they don't really see the value in water quality data either as, as it pertains to managing water supplies. So, you know, we're really looking at where are these big barriers motivationally within this district context in particular, and, you know, how can we press on them? How can we start to alleviate them through different types of uh, programs? There's a lot of benefits to being in this partnership. I think the most obvious one is that because everyone is working in a, in a sphere that has some overlap among all of our different responsibilities, there's great opportunities to learn from each other and not have to each go and find out, you know, what, where is the revenue coming from, from the district, where is it coming from for the water sources, you know, Laquia can go out and look at one of those while IRC does the other, and then we can come back together and share what we've learned um, and probably save time for all of us and then the resources that are being put into uh, this district overall and make them be used more effectively. I am responsible for supporting the other partners, including IRC, uh, with the implementation of the WASH full coverage initiative. We've launched the master plan, and we have also started developing a monitoring, evaluation, and learning framework with indicators which we are going to use to track implementation of the whole initiative. We have also signed partners agreement, which has um, spelled out the joint and individual obligations of each of the partners in the implementation process. So far, I would describe the level of enthusiasm in the district as very positive. Um, the management of the district are very interested and they take this initiative very seriously. Moving forward, I think the prospect of the initiative is very bright. Uh, partners are very committed. The district assembly as a service authority is also very committed. And so uh, I think that we are likely to even meet our targets before the 2030 uh, deadline that we are setting for ourselves. Find more information about the ANAM initiative at the ircwash.org and the anamwash.com websites.